Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study dividing integers. My first problems here have a negative number divided by a positive number. For example, negative 9 divided by 3. We can model that with this kind of grouping where I have 9 negatives divided into 3 groups, divided by 3. And then how much is in each group? You can see clearly that there's going to be negative 3 in each group, right? So the answer clearly, easily, is negative 3. You can also check this by multiplication. Remember, division and multiplication are opposite operations. So each division you can check by multiplication, like this. Check if this times this really equals that. Okay? And negative 3 times 3 does equal negative 9. Similarly here, negative 15 divided by 5. You can imagine negative 15 as 15 negative counters divided into 5 different groups. And how many are in each group? The answer is negative 3. Now let's look at this situation. What about if you have a positive number divided by a negative number? Such as 18 divided by negative 3. What would the answer be? Do you think it's going to be 6 or negative 6? And I'm going to do this by multiplication. Because whatever the answer is to this, this question mark, then this question mark number here times negative 3 has to equal 18. And I'll check whether 6 or negative 6 works here. 6 times negative 3 would be negative 18, so 6 does not work. Negative 6 times negative 3, yes, because when you have two negatives and you multiply, you get the positive number. So negative 6 is the answer here. Okay, so my positive divided by negative gave me a negative. And that would happen every time, no matter what number I had here. 24 divided by negative 4 would be negative 6 too. Or 20 divided by negative 10 would give me negative 2. Now what about negative divided by negative? We'll use the same idea. Whatever the answer is, we use multiplication. This number multiplied by negative 3 has to equal negative 18, like this. This number times negative 3 has to equal negative 18. And now let's try if 6 or negative 6 works. 6 times negative 3, yes, it does equal negative 18. So the answer is 6. We get a positive answer. Negative divided by negative gives us a positive answer. Now let's summarize all these. This is for multiplication. This is for division. For example, this one here was a negative divided by a negative. And the answer is positive. So I'll put here a positive counter. Then also, if you have a positive divided by a positive, like 18 divided by 3, then your answer is positive too. And then, these two cases both gave us a negative answer. So, over here we put a negative and a negative. And, as a comparison, let's do the same for multiplication. In multiplication, positive times a positive was a positive, and also it was the strange thing how negative times negative gave us a positive answer as well. Whereas, if you have a negative times a positive, or vice versa, the answer is negative. Comparing these, we can see that these shortcut rules for multiplication and division are identical. They're the same. You see, if you have two numbers that are both positive or both negative, whether you multiply or divide, your answer will be positive. And then, if you have two numbers with mixed signs, one positive, one negative, one positive, one negative, whether you're multiplying or dividing, the answer then will be negative. So that helps us remember these, because they are actually the same for multiplication and division. Now let's practice here a little. 45 divided by negative 9. Positive and negative, so the answer will be negative. Negative 5. Over here, negative divided by a negative, so the answer will be positive, and it is 7. And then here again, oh, it's negative divided by a negative, so the answer is positive. 4. And then here, negative divided by a positive, the answer has to be negative, negative 8. So it's not difficult. Evaluate a over b minus 1. When a is minus 20 or negative 20 and b equals 4. Okay, this is an expression 
We need to find its value when we know the value of a and b. Simply just write the values of a and b here into the expression and calculate. So I'll write negative 20 divided by 4 minus 1. Notice that is now division problem here. It is just written, the division is written with this fraction line. So negative 20 divided by 4. That, that's what we do first. And lastly we subtract. Here there's a negative divided by a positive. The answer will be negative. Okay, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. But we get negative 5 as the answer. And then there's also the subtract 1 here. And now we subtract 1 more so we get negative 6. Here's two equations to solve. They use the same numbers. By the way, negative 2 and negative 8. But they are different equations, different answers. Okay, there are at least two ways to solve this. One would be to follow the normal rules for solving equations. But I'm not going to do that way today. I'm just going to think logically, so to speak. What number divided by negative 2 is negative 8? First I'm going to think about just the positive numbers and forget about the negatives for a little while. What number divided by 2 equals 8? Yes, it is 16. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. And now we need to just figure out if 16 or negative 16 fits here in place of x. If I put negative 16 here, I would have a negative divided by a negative and I should get a positive answer. So negative 16 does not work. It indeed is x equals 16. Over here, again, what number here? Negative 2 times something gives you negative 8. Now, 2 times 4 would be 8. So answer will be 4 or negative 4. But which one? Which one fits there? As you can see, negative 4 wouldn't fit because then I would have negative times a negative, which should give me 8. So, why is this simply 4? These last problems are now problems with many operations there. There's addition, subtractions, and multiplications, and divisions. So, just some more practice. What operation will we do first here? There's five times multiplication and there's addition. Okay, there's parentheses too, so we need to do this first, the addition inside here. And 2 plus negative 3. Negative swim, this makes negative 1. Okay, so we get 5 times negative 1. That is negative 5. Over here, there's subtraction and multiplication. We need to do multiplication first. This here is negative 12. This here. Okay, so we have 7 minus negative 12. That's the double negative now, so that changes into addition, right? 7 plus 12 equals 19. Over here, we have a division line here and then addition. But remember, when, whenever division is written with this fraction line, it implies that there's as if there were parentheses here, that we need to solve whatever is on the top and whatever is on the bottom first, and then lastly, divide. So first solve that, minus 2 plus 5. Okay, that would be 3, so this simplifies to 3 over negative 3. 3 divided by negative 3, and that is minus 1, negative 1. Over here, we need to do the same. We need to first solve whatever is on the top and on the bottom. 4 times negative 10, negative 40. On the bottom, minus 2, minus 6. Negative 8, right? And now there's a division, negative divided by negative. So the answer is positive 5. Okay, we're all done with this and I hope it was helpful.